Hi everyone! It's Amanda from Livingston Public Library and I'm here sharing some stories with you about Thanksgiving. Before we begin, let's get rid of our wiggles. Wiggle fingers, wiggle so, wiggle high, wiggle low, wiggle left, wiggle right, wiggle fingers out of sight. Now there's no more wiggles left in me, so I can sit as still as can be. Our first story is called, One is a Feast for Mouse, a Thanksgiving Tale by Judy Cox, illustrated by Jeffrey Ebeler. After Thanksgiving dinner, Mouse crept out of his hidey hole and looked around. The house was quiet. Dad snoozed in his chair with his book. Mom dozed in front of the TV. Outside, the kids played football in the crisp yellow leaves. Cat curled up by the fire. He yawned and stretched his stripy tail. Then he closed his greedy eyes and went to sleep. Mouse scampered up the tablecloth. Thanksgiving leftovers were still on the table. So much to eat! Mouse saw a teensy, tiny, toothsome green pea all by itself under a plate. Give thanks, he thought. One will be a feast for me. Mouse rolled the pea across the tablecloth to take it back to his hidey hole. But his eyes were bigger than his stomach. He saw six leftover cranberries glowing like rubies on a silver saucer. I'll just take one, he said to himself. One is a feast for me. He bounced one cranberry on top of the pea and started once again across the table to his hidey hole. Just then he saw three olives, black and shiny, in a dish. I'll just take one, he thought. One is a feast for me. He put the olive on top of the cranberry on top of the pea and carried the tidbits across the table. Then he saw the carrot sticks, crunchy and munchy and orange. I'll just take one, he thought. One is a feast for me. He stuck one carrot stick into the hole in the olive, balanced both on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea, and started back to his hidey hole. Then he saw the mashed potatoes, mouse potatoes. There was just one scoop left on the plate. I'll just take the plate, mouse thought. What a feast I will have. He balanced the plate of potatoes on top of the carrot stick in the hole in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea. Mouse started across the table. Then he saw the gravy, brown and luscious in the silver gravy boat. Gravy for the mouse potatoes, he thought. I must have that for my feast. And he balanced the gravy boat on top of the mashed potatoes, on top of the carrot stick stuck in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea, and started off. But then he spotted the pumpkin pie. One slice of pie, brown and dimpled with a collar of fluffy cream. So he balanced the pie on top of the gravy boat, on top of the mashed potatoes, on top of the carrot stick stuck in the hole in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea, and he started off across the table. The pie slid, but Mouse caught it just in time. Mouse bobbed and bobbled across the tablecloth on his way to the hidey hole for his Thanksgiving feast. He didn't see Cat creeping, creeping, closer and closer. Uh-oh. But Mouse saw the turkey, brown and juicy, surrounded with parsley. Much was gone, but there was enough left for a mouse feast, or even two. I'll just add that, thought Mouse and he carefully placed the turkey platter on the very top of his pile. On top of the pie, on top of the gravy, on top of the mashed potatoes, on top of the carrot stick stuck in the hole in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea. He started across the table to his hidey hole, and there, at the table's edge, he met, uh-oh, who's there? That's right, the cat! greedy-eyed and hungry, clawing up the table on the tablecloth. Mouse skidded to a stop. The turkey wibbled and wobbled, slid and slipped. Mouse danced to keep his feast balanced. 
pirouetted like a ballerina, juggled like a plate spinner, but off slid the turkey, whoosh, with a plop landing smack on Cat. Oh dear. Down crashed the pumpkin pie and the boat with the gravy. Down crashed the mashed potatoes with a clatter that woke Mom. Down fell the carrot stick still and paled in the olive. Down went the cranberry which rolled, leaving a red track across the tablecloth. Down went the pea. All cataropus off the table, rolling onto the floor. Off the scampered mouse, quick as a bandit, back to his hidey hole ahead of Cat. He huddled in his hidey hole, his heart pitter pattered. He peered out. Down came the broom on the stripy green eyed cat. Bad kitty shouted Mom outside, and she swept the cat out the door. Mouse looked around, whiskers trembling with fright. No Thanksgiving feast for me, he thought. Just then he spotted, glowing in the corner. Oh, I wonder what he sees. What do you think? Oh, it could be. Oh, you have a different idea? Oh, it could be that. Let's turn the page and see. One teensy tiny, round and toothsome, green and luscious pea. Give thanks. One is a feast for me. Oh, he got a pea to eat. The end. Yay! Good story. It's time to do some counting. Will you help me count? Let's see. Oh, it looks like we have an animal to count. It says, gobble, gobble, gobble. Do you know who says that? That's right, the turkey. How many turkeys are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Good counting. Five little turkeys by the barn door. One waddled away. Then there were how many? One, two, three, four. Four little turkeys under a tree. One waddled off. Now there's one, two, three. Three little turkeys with nothing to do. One waddled off. Then there were how many? One, two. Two little turkeys in the noonday sun. One waddled off. And then there was how many? Right, one. One little turkey better run away. Soon will come Thanksgiving Day. <gasps> how many turkeys are there now? That's right, none or zero. Good counting. Yay. This book is called Thanks for Thanksgiving by Julie Marks, illustrated by Doris Barrett. Thanks for Thanksgiving for turkey and pie. Thank you for full and gold leaves floating by. Thank you for school. I love to feel smart. Thank you for music and dancing and art. Thank you for playdates, for swings and for slides. Thank you for hopscotch and piggyback rides. Thanks for sweet puppies and soft furry cats. Thank you for dress up, red shoes and big hats. Thanks for umbrellas, for rain boots and puddles. Thank you for mommy and warm, cozy cuddles. Thank you for daddy and rides on a sled. Thank you for kisses and tucks into bed. Thanks for the moon and the stars up above. But most of all, thanks for the family I love. Wow, they listed a lot of great things to be thankful for. What are you thankful for? Good story. Yay! Okay, it's time for a song. Will you sing The Wheels on the Bus with me? You will? Oh, wonderful. Are you ready? 
The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The babies on the bus say where, 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 where. The babies on the bus say where, 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 all through the town. The adults on the bus say I love you. I love you, I love you. The adults on the bus say, I love you, all through the town. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Great singing! I have a song to share with you called The Turkey Ran Away. I'm going to use the flannel board while we sing it. Besides the turkey, in this song, there's also a piece of bread, cranberries, corn, pumpkin, and apple. All right, if you know this song, you can sing with me. Are you ready? You are? Okay. The turkey ran away before Thanksgiving Day. They said they'd make a roast out of me if I should stay. Bye bye. Ready for the next one? We're going to do the bread. The bread ran away before Thanksgiving Day. They said they'd make some stuffing out of me if I should stay. Bye bye. What's next? Oh, the cranberries. The cranberries ran away before Thanksgiving Day. They said they'd make a sauce out of me if I should stay. Bye bye. Okay, what's next? Oh, the corn. The corn ran away before Thanksgiving Day. They said they'd make some bread out of me if I should stay. Bye bye. Okay, now it's the pumpkin. The pumpkin ran away before Thanksgiving Day. They said they'd make a pie out of me if I should stay. Bye bye. Last one. Yes, it's the apple. The apple ran away before Thanksgiving Day. They said they'd make some cider out of me if I should stay. Bye bye. The end. Good singing. Yay. Our last book is called Thank You, Omu by Oga Mora. And I chose this book because they say thank you a lot in this book and they share food. And even though it's not really a Thanksgiving story, it made me think of Thanksgiving. On the corner of First Street and Long Street, at the, on the very top floor, Oma was cooking a thick red stew in a big fat pot for a nice evening meal. She seasoned it and stirred it and took a small taste. What a delicious stew, Omo said. Tonight's dinner will surely be the best I have ever had. With that, Omo put down her spoon and went to read a book before supper. As the thick red stew simmered on the stove, its scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, and around the block until... Knock, knock, knock! Someone was at the door! When Omo opened it, she saw... A little boy! Little boy! Omo exclaimed. What brings you to my home? I was playing with my race car down the hall when I smelled the most delicious smell, the little boy replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Mmm! Stewie sighed. 
That sure sounds yummy. Omu thought for a moment. She was saving her stew for dinner, but she had made quite a bit. It would not hurt to share. Would you like some? The little boy nodded. And so Omu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Omu, the little boy said and went on his way. With that, Omu closed the door and went back to her book. As she read, her thick red stew scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hole, toward the street, and around the block until, knock, 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 someone was at the door. When Omu opened the door, this time she saw a police officer. Ms. Police Officer, Omu exclaimed, what brings you to my home? I was on duty down the street when I smelled the most delicious smell, Miss Police Officer replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Ah, stew, she said, and her mouth watered. That sounds mighty tasty. Omu thought for a moment. There was still enough to share. Would you like some? The police officer nodded. Once again, Omu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Omu, the officer said and went on her way. And so for the second time, Omo closed the door and went back to her book. Sure enough, as she read, her thick red stew scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, and around the block until, knock, knock, knock. Again, someone was at Omo's home. This time when she opened it, she saw a hot dog vendor. Mr. Hot Dog Vendor, Omo exclaimed. What brings you to my home? I was selling my hot dogs down the block when I smelled the most delicious smell, Mr. Hot Dog Vendor replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Ooh, stew! The vendor licked his lips. That sounds quite delectable. So Omu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Omu, the hot dog vendor said and went on his way. Throughout the day, people from all across the neighborhood knocked on Omu's door. She fed a shop owner, a cab driver, a doctor, an actor, a lawyer, a dancer, a baker, an artist, a singer, an athlete, a bus driver, a construction worker, even the mayor stopped by. And each time they knocked, Omu shared. Soon the sky darkened, the street lights brightened, and it was finally time for dinner. But when Omo opened her big fat pot of thick red stew for her nice evening meal, it was empty. Oh no. Omo sniffled. There goes the best dinner I ever had. Sorry, and Blue, she sat at the table with her empty pot until knock, 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 knock. Who could that be? Omo wondered. When she opened the door, she saw the little boy, the police officer, the hot dog vendor. The shop owner, the cab driver, the doctor, the actor, the lawyer, the dancer, the baker. Why, everyone she fed today was at her door. I'm sorry, everyone almost sighed. My thick red stew is all gone. I have nothing left to share. The little boy tugged at Omo's sleeve. Don't worry, Omo. We are not here to ask. We are here to give. Oh, wow. The police officer carried in a fresh salad. The mayor entered with a roast chicken. The baker brought a collection of sweet goodies. Even the little boy presented Omo with something special in a shiny red envelope. Everyone who had knocked on Omo's door that day squeezed, into her, in, squeezed inside her tiny apartment, and together they ate, danced, and celebrated. While Omo's big fat pot of thick red stew was empty, her heart was full of happiness and love. I wonder what's in that red envelope. What do you think it could be? Hmm... Let's turn the page and find out. That dinner was the best she had ever had. Oh, it says thank you, Omu. Oh, he made a card for her. Oh, that was very nice. What a great story. The end. Yay. I have one last flannel board story to share with you. It's called The Turnip. Once there was an old man. He was so old that his back went crick-crack when he walked. The old man planted a turnip seed in the ground. He waited for the green leaves to sprout, first a little, 
then a lot. When the old man saw how tall the leaves grew, he said, this is no ordinary turnip. This is a great, big, huge, enormous turnip. And he grabbed the turnip leaves down near the ground and he pulled. Oh, can you pretend to pull? Yep, pretend to grab onto the leaves of the turnip and let's all pull together. Ready? Pull. Ugh. Pull. Ugh. Pull really hard. Ugh. But the turnip wouldn't come out. Along came an old woman, and the old man said, Fee, fi, fo, fout, this turnip won't come out. So the old woman held on to the old man, and they pulled. Oh, can you pretend to pull? Pull. Ugh. Pull. Ugh. Pull really hard. Ugh. But the turnip wouldn't come out. Along came a little girl, and the old woman said, Fee, fi, fo, fout, this turnip won't come out. The little girl said, let me help. So the little girl held on to the old woman, and the old woman held on to the old man, and they all pulled. I'll pretend to pull, pull, Urgh. pull, Urgh. pull really hard, Urgh. but the turnip wouldn't come out. Along came a dog, and the little girl said, fee, fi, fo, fout, this turnip won't come out. The dog said, let me help. So the dog held on to the little girl, and the little girl held on to the old woman, and the old woman held on to the old man, and they all pulled. Oh, pretend to pull, pull. Ugh. And they pulled. Oh, pull again. Ugh. And they pulled. Ugh. But the turnip wouldn't come out. Along came a cat, and the dog said, Fee, fi, fo, fout, this turnip won't come out. The cat said, let me help. So the cat held on to the dog, and the dog held on to the little girl, and the little girl held on to the old woman, and the old woman held on to the old man, and they pulled, oh, pull, ugh, and they pulled, pull, pull more, ugh, and they pulled really hard, ugh, but the turnip wouldn't come out. Along came a mouse, and the cat said, fee, fi, fo, fout, this turnip won't come out. The mouse said, let me help. Ha, 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 laughed the cat. What help can a little mouse be? You never know, said the mouse. So the mouse held onto the, the mouse held onto the cat, and the cat held onto the dog, and the dog held onto the little girl, and the little girl held onto the old woman, and the old woman held onto the old man, and they all pulled. Oh, let's all pull, pull. Ugh! And they pulled. Ugh! And they pulled, pulled really hard this time. Ugh! And out came the turnip. And sure enough, it was a great, big, huge, enormous turnip. The end. What a great story. Yay! Wow, those were some great stories and songs. I had so much fun sharing with them with you. Did you enjoy them? You did? Oh, that makes me so happy. Before you go, will you sing If You're Happy and You Know It with me? You will? Wonderful! You ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! Yay! Great singing! See you next time!